All right, here we are. We're with uh, Elias Not Afraid. He's a, a beater who's going to be at this year's Indian Market. He stopped by our office just to say hello and to show us some of uh, his new work. Um, Elias, uh, tell us uh, tell us about your work and about what you're doing. Uh, I'm a I'm from Crow uh, the Crow Indian Reservation up in Montana. I've been living here in uh, Arizona. My work I typically go towards traditional but I like to add my own style into my work uh, a lot of times I like to use black it is my favorite color black and gold I will mix it with my traditional designs sometimes it's hard to because a lot of crows don't use black and so I like to try to do more with my work but also keeping the respect for my traditional designs and the technique and the materials used in my work to to show my appreciation towards my tribe and it's and towards the towards beadwork because crow were sorry crow Indians were known for their beadwork and I wanted to do more with it challenge myself more with it do more of the complicated designs um, and just show others that you know you can do more with just sticking to the traditional designs you know because we, we shouldn't be we shouldn't be restricted on our work we shouldn't be restricted on our work um, so I'm trying to break these barriers by incorporating my own style into by using my tribes designs excellent can you show us some of your work yes so this is a traditional geometric crow style cuff that I've done just recently um, I, I like to use a lot of bright colors I love I love gold uh, I try to use a lot of beadwork or beads that are you know rare um, antique vintage cut beads just something different but still give it that old time feeling I do use uh, a bead on smoke deer hide I have also just did this recently um, I've never seen it done before in beadwork, uh, Victorian scroll, scroll work. And so I had the design for about three years and I wanted to finally try it. Just, you know, do it. And it took me a day to do one. And so the way I positioned and laid my beads is to reflect off the light, to give it that almost that 3D effect when, when it's put on like how the original scroll work was um, so I ended up doing two of them in opposite directions I I do more geometrics that's what I've been doing for so long but now I'm trying to um, to go further challenge myself more do florals and because a lot of crow designs have there's floral they were known for their floral beadwork and also their geometrics uh, this cuff here I did uh, about two years ago for myself for Indian Market and I used all vintage cut beads wow. um, the 24 karat gold beads as well let's see tell us about your uh, your history with market um, last year was my first year uh, at market I applied for market thinking that you know I wasn't gonna get in because I know the process of being accepted into market you have to have quality work and so when I did my um, my photos to submit I, I I made sure that they were of quality and because this was new to me didn't think I was gonna get into market and then I got my acceptance letter and so I was like okay what do I do now so I just started my first my my main pieces um, I wanted to do ma mainly focus on larger pieces than smaller stuff I wanted to show people that I can do more than just small jewelry or you know cuffs and whatnot so I did a mirror bag that was beaded on both sides it's a men's uh, crow style mirror bag that men would use you know through powwows or just walk around with um, so I did the mirror bag and then I had just a little bit more time so I went ahead and did a cut or crow style cuffs and with my cuffs I wanted to do add more of my my style to it so I used all a traditional crow design but I you know incorporated the uh, tri-cut gold beads I used the vintage cut beads antique cut beads um, but the original cuffs that I used for 
or the cuffs that I did for um, for Swaya, they're actually lined with seven layers of Kevlar ballistic fabric materials, so they are bulletproof. Um, <laughs> I don't know if somebody's if you if you would use it to test it out, but you know it's after I finished that that those were my main focus. So I took my went to market not knowing anything. Um, I did get help from Jamie Okuma, who's helped me get through the process, what I needed to do and have done. And when I got there on Friday, I actually took second in my mirror bag and I got honorable mention. And when I saw that and seeing being, um, having my work next to other artists that have been there for years, that gave me the confidence that I needed to to keep going and to go further and to keep challenging myself with my work. Um, and so after after market, I, you know, that's I want to do. I want to start attending art markets all over the place. Um, I um, actually applied for the Herd Indian Art Market this year. I um, I, ex I had to drop out because um, my partner has, you know, had medical issues and we were at the hospital. So I made that my priority and I actually dropped out of market. Um, but they were really understanding. So they asked me to apply again for next year. So I, I was, I almost dropped out of Swaya because of my partner and him being in the hospital. But beating is the only thing that's kept me sane in, in working at or sitting there at the hospital with him. So I've been, was like, you know, I'm going to do Swaya. So, and he was encouraging me to do Swaya as well. So I just started my pieces. I just started so tell us, uh, tell us about what you're going to be bringing this year. It sounds like you've been busy and you've already planned, but uh, what do you have in mind for what you're going to be bringing to Santa Fe Indian Market? For Santa Fe, I want to bring. Uh, I kept getting a lot of requests for my um, geometric style cuffs, crow style cuffs. So I should will have about planning to have about six of them for market. I've been starting the smaller pieces too while working on my main piece, which is going to be a traditional style. Uh, Crow, a traditional crow style saddle bag, but it's going to be smaller into a uh, uh, a purse. Um, but I'm going to add my own my own style to it while using the traditional design. And the design that I'm going to be using is similar to these, which is a crow style tulip. And it hasn't really been used for a while. I don't really. Well, I haven't seen it been used that much lately so I wanted to kind of bring back that design so the design that I'm using for my bag is going to be the tulip design but I'm going to use vintage uh, greasy cut beads um, I'm almost finished with it it will it's gonna be I, I'm, I'm scared to <laughs> show people because back home because I'm it does have black in the beadwork on it's such a traditional um, a traditional bag so I'm really hesitant to share it with people from my tribe because of the color black in it, but um, my tribe has been really supportive of me and even when I do use um, black in beadwork, in crow beadwork, um, they've been really supportive of me. So I'm using that as, you know, okay, maybe if I come at it, if I use the black and, but people are more distracted by the main design, the main features of the bag, and so I'm I'm hoping that it would take the focus off, you know, using black and crow beadwork. Um, let's see. Well, no, it sounds like you've got an exciting uh, batch of work planned, and uh, we're excited to see you at market. And thanks for stopping in today. Yes, thank you so much. Uh -huh.